Air pollution is a problem for us all, but one of the biggest challenges is that we can't see the air pollution that's all around us. The Plume Labs Flow 2 is a palm-sized portable device that allows you to visualize your current exposure. By syncing to your smartphone via Bluetooth, the $160 device allows you to analyze this data too. So then, should you buy the Flow 2? Let's take a look. As the name suggests, the Flow 2 is the successor to the original Flow device, which we reviewed towards the end of 2018. The form factor remains pretty much unchanged this time around, but there are two notable differences. The first is that where the original device was silver, this is now a dark graphite gray. The original also had a fake leather or pleather strap attached to the top. This has been replaced with a durable black silicone strap instead. The Flow 2 is almost rectangular and it slopes in slightly towards the top, which is where the strap is connected. The base of the device is coated in a durable plastic, which is where the charging pins and the USB-C charging port are housed. If you haven't seen one of these devices before, you'll think they probably look a bit unusual. And that's because it has a load of small holes on the upper half of the device. But these holes are there to allow air to flow through to the sensors which are underneath. The lower half of the device is dedicated to a capacitive button. When you tap the button, a ring of LEDs light up. And these LEDs visualize your current air pollution exposure. These LEDs operate on a traffic light system. So you have green for low exposure, up to red for severe. One of the first questions people often ask about wearable technology is whether they'll have to charge it every night. And put simply, the answer here is probably yes, you will. The battery lasts about a day, but may vary based on how often you use the display and whether you use the always on Bluetooth connection. That said, I found myself charging it every night anyway, regardless of whether it was out of battery. And that's because the Flow 2 comes with a handy dock. All you need to do is just drop it into the top and the device will begin charging. And if you do run out of juice throughout the day, you can always use the USB-C port to top it up. It's possible to extend the battery life now of the Flow 2 thanks to the new idle mode. This effectively puts the sensors to sleep for a little while and can be enabled inside the app. You can choose anywhere from 20 minutes up to 24 hours. And if you want to disable it, all you have to do is just head back into the app settings and press cancel. Using this new mode should see the device last up to roughly three days on a single charge. There's also the Flow Mobile app, which is available for Android and iOS devices. And that's where you'll really be able to drill down into the data that's been captured by the Flow 2. There are two Bluetooth connection options. The first is that you open the app and allow the device to connect. The second is an always on connection, and this is for GPS tracking. Now the Flow 2 doesn't actually have a built-in GPS sensor, so it's relying on the phone to do this. However, although there is a trade-off in terms of battery life, capturing location data really improves the usefulness of this data. The app's main page is a chronological feed of your data split up into days. The daily overview has a color-coded line graph which shows your exposure over time. There's also a high, medium, or low rating underneath. Now, because the Flow 2 captures a lot of data for various different particles, Plume Labs have developed something called the Air Quality Index, or AQI, which summarizes that data for you into one single number. So in the daily overview, you'll also find the day's AQI. The original Flow device captured some of the most critical air quality readings, including PM2.5, PM10, NO2, and VOC. The Flow 2 keeps these sensors, but adds a new one for PM1. This is an incredible achievement. PM1 particles are ultra fine and are often implicated in the health conditions that air quality issues cause. This is because these minuscule particles are able to pass through air quality filters and enter our lungs. That the Flow 2 can capture them at all is a testament to the work that Plume Labs have put in in the year since the original Flow device. Now, one of the problems we identified back in 2018 with our review of the original Flow was that it, despite an attractive interface, it was actually quite hard to analyze your data within the app. This is because all you could really see was a daily feed. With the introduction of the Flow 2, Plume Labs have also enabled an export function. All you have to do is head into the app settings, tap export, and it'll send you a download link to your email address. The data is then split up into three parts, GPS images, GPS location data, and air quality readings. The GPS images are the same as those displayed in the app, and the GPS location data is stored as a KML file. Then probably the most important are the air quality readings, which are stored as a CSV file. This means that you should be able to analyze and compare this data to your heart's content. Now, although the export function seems like a small feature, it actually dramatically improves the usefulness of carrying the Flow 2 around with you every day. So then we get to the big question, which is should you buy the Flow 2? The Flow 2 represents a significant step forward in tracking air quality data, thanks to the inclusion of the PM1 sensor. It also builds upon the foundations laid by the original Flow device. 
The Flow 2 is portable, easy to use, and tracks some of the most crucial data. And thanks to the export feature, that data is now yours to examine however you wish. If you don't want to deep dive into the recordings though, Plume Labs have perfected the way that they communicate air quality data. The colored LEDs make it easy to understand your current exposure, and they don't require you to unlock your phone to do so. Coupled with these features, the portability of the Flow 2 makes it an indispensable companion, helping you keep informed and make useful changes to reduce your exposure. Thanks very much for watching that review. We do hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, comments, or if you didn't like it, let us know why down in the comments. And be sure to subscribe to make use of for tech tutorials, giveaways, and more reviews like this one. Until the next time, thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. Courtesy of Plume Labs, we do actually have a Flow 2 to give away to one lucky viewer. To enter, all you have to do is click on the link in the description, scroll down to the bottom, find the giveaway widget, and enter. And as a special thanks for watching to the end of the video, enter the code POLLUTION for additional entries.